everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'll be showing you what we received in the September Sophie and Toffee Elves box as well as showing you how to make this Halloween inspired cat shaker using the materials in the box. So the Elves box is a monthly subscription box where you receive a bunch of different crafting items. If you would like to know more I'll leave all the information down in the description box below. In this box we received some glittery pigment powder glow in the dark powder in pink and green, pearl pigment powder, clear shaker oil, a gold trinket case, a flexible cat shaker mold, Halloween fabric pieces, gold metal embellishments, deco whip and some piping tips, and finally some Halloween sequins. To start off making my Halloween cat shaker, I took my Sophie and Toffee UV resin, which wasn't included in the box, but I'll leave a link to where you can find it down below. So I'm mixing three different colours for my background. I'm using the black pearl pigment from the box for one of them, my own Pearl X pigment to make a nice white pearly colour, and then I'm also mixing in the green glow in the dark powder. I'm then adding all of these to my cat shaker mold and I was kind of going for a gradient effect. So I started off by putting the green mixture in the middle making sure it goes all the way down into the crevices and then I added the black to the bottom and then the white to the top. You'll also notice that I created a swirly kind of effect using my toothpick. Once you're happy with how yours looks, you can go ahead and cure it. So I have no idea where the footage went for it, but I did also pour my resin into the other part of the mold as well to create the front of the shaker, and then I demolded both pieces. If you have any excess parts on the side like I did here, you can use scissors to trim off the larger parts, and then some sandpaper to make it nice and smooth. For the Halloween decorations going inside the shaker, I made a few little tentacles and eyeballs using polymer clay and I went ahead and baked these to harden them. It's now time to add everything inside the shaker, so I added my polymer clay pieces, some of the little metal embellishments included in the box, and also some flat back pearls to kind of look like bubbles because I was going for a sort of like witch's cauldron look. I then took my UV resin again and used a toothpick to go along the edges and this will act as a glue. I decided to leave mine as a dry shaker charm but you can add liquid if you like. Then just place on the top piece and allow the resin to cure. touch I took one of the fabric pieces being these black wings and I cut them in half using my scissors before super gluing them onto my shaker charm. And then that's everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made this spooky yet still cute Halloween cat shaker. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe for more crafty videos and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!